Rogue Planet has a record growth rate of 6.6 .6 billion tons per second. Astronomers have observed a planet that in some ways behaves more like a star, including a massive growth spurt unlike anything witnessed before in a free-floating planet. The rogue planet, which does not orbit any star, is called CHA 11077626 and is outside of our solar system 620 light-years from Earth in the Chameleon constellation. A single light year, or the distance light travels in one year, is equal to 9.46 trillion kilometers. The planet has a mass 5 to 10 times that of Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, and it's getting bigger every second, according to new research published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Alex Schultz, a study co-author and an astronomer at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, said that estimated to be 1 million to 2 million years old, CHA 11077626 is still forming. It may sound old, but astronomically speaking, the planet is in its infancy. By contrast, the planets in our solar system are about 4.5 billion years old. CHA 11077626 is surrounded by a disk of gas and dust, which constantly falls onto the planet and accumulates during a process that astronomers call accretion. But the rate at which the young planet is growing varies. Observations with the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile's Atacama Desert along with follow-up views conducted by the James Webb Space Telescope, showed that the planet is adding material about eight times faster than a few months earlier and gobbling up gas and dust at a record rate of 6.6 .6 billion tons per second. The unusual burst of activity is the strongest growth rate ever recorded for a planet of any kind. We've caught this newborn rogue planet in the act of gobbling up stuff at a furious pace, monitoring its behavior over the past few months with two of the most powerful telescopes on the ground and in space. We have captured a rare glimpse into the baby phase of isolated objects not much heftier than Jupiter. Their infancy appears to be much more tumultuous than we had realized. An unprecedented burst of growth. Astronomers first discovered CHA 11077626 in 2008, and since then they have observed it with different telescopes to learn more about how the infant planet evolves as well as to study its surroundings. The research team observed the planet with Webb in 2024, making a clear detection of the surrounding disk. Next, the researchers studied it using the X-Shooter spectrograph on the Very Large Telescope in Chile, which can capture different wavelengths of light emitted by an object, ranging from ultraviolet to near-infrared. The observations detected a puzzling event as the planet transitioned from a steady accretion rate in April and May to a burst of growth between June and August. Follow-up observations made using the Webb telescope also showed that the chemistry of the disk had changed. Water vapor, present during the growth spurt, wasn't in the disk before. Webb is the only telescope capable of capturing such detailed changes in the environment for such a faint object. Prior to this research, astronomers had only ever seen the chemistry of a disk change around a star, but not around a planet. Comparing observations from before and during the event showed that magnetic activity seems to be the main driver behind how much gas and dust is falling on the planet, a phenomenon typically associated with stars as they grow. But the new observations suggest that objects with much less mass than stars, the rogue world is less than 1% the mass of our sun, can have strong magnetic fields capable of driving the growth of the object, according to the study authors. A planet that acts like a star. The origin of rogue planets remains murky. It's possible they are planets that are kicked out of orbit around stars due to the gravitational influence of other objects, or perhaps they are the lowest mass objects that happen to form like stars. For CHA 11076262, astronomers said they think it's the latter. 
This object most likely formed in a way similar to stars from the collapse and fragmentation of a molecular cloud. A molecular cloud is a massive, cold cloud of gas and dust that can stretch for hundreds of light years, according to NASA. We're struck by quite how much the infancy of free-floating planetary mass objects resembles that of stars like the Sun. The new findings underscore that similarity and imply that some objects comparable to giant planets form the way stars do, from contracting clouds of gas and dust accompanied by disks of their own and that go through growth episodes just like newborn stars. When comparing the new data with archival information, the team noted that the planet also experienced a high growth rate event observed in 2016, hinting at the idea that it may undergo recurring growth spurts. Now the team wants to investigate how long the bursts last and how often they occur. From that we can find out how much they really contribute to the growth, or what is triggering strong accretion bursts. The fact that we see accretion bursts across such a wide range of objects must be telling us something. We're not quite sure yet what it is. The study also marks an important new step in understanding the accretion process of rogue planets. To deepen our understanding on the origin of these exotic celestial bodies, it is essential to complement this type of work with studies on their abundance, atmospheric composition, and the presence and properties of disks and companions. Rogue planets are incredibly dim and faint, making them difficult to detect. But new telescopes, such as the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, the upcoming Extremely Large Telescope, or ELT, in Chile, and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, slated to launch in 2027, could change the way astronomers study these wandering worlds and just how star-like they are. The ELT will be powerful enough to not only study these faint, free-floating planet mass objects in much more detail, but for example, it will also be possible to look for close companions that might be responsible for triggering such bursts. Rubin will catch these rare outbursts across the whole population of known young planet mass objects, giving us for the first time a statistical picture of how often they happen and how long they last.